What? That's my exact reaction when I heard the news earlier today. What? WWE is rumor speculating, and I think it is true, that WWE is apparently canceling Talking Smack as a weekly televised show on the WWE Network. And it's just going to go to how Raw Talk is right now. Um, it just takes place after Raw specific pay-per-views. SmackDown only takes place after SmackDown specific pay-per-views. I don't know if maybe, um, if maybe they'll do a special edition after, a after a dual brand pay-per-view. They did that for WrestleMania, I guess, right? Because they did Raw Talk after, um, Raw went off the air the night after WrestleMania, whenever Goldberg cut that, um, good promo that was unscripted. And they can have that on the air because it's not scripted. But this puts the icing on the cake. This news made me pissed. And I have been saying so many times, I am trying not to be that guy who just comes up here and just blows my head off. But this needs to be let out. Why? Why, WWE? Why did you take away Talking Smack? I love Talking Smack. I mean, you got to know these wrestlers more deeply. Like, that's what's helping guys like, you know, Baron Corbin or, you know, Kevin Owens or The Miz. Heck, The Miz. When The Miz was on SmackDown, he was cutting some of his best promos on Talking Smack. Heck, at the end of the year last year, whenever I did my year in rewards video, well, I took part in the year in rewards video on my friend Daniel Guys' channel. I can't remember who it was. One of... It was me and three other people. One of us did mention that promo between The Miz and Daniel Bryan, where The Miz like really like tore Daniel Bryan to shreds. That it was like Daniel Bryan could have just gone off to the side and just started crying because it felt real. Some people have literally cemented their mark and have done great things on Talking Smack. A reason why I could say Kevin Owens, the way Kevin Owens is on Smack uh, on SmackDown. Well, okay, Kevin Owens has been one of the better parts of SmackDown lately. Since SmackDown's been dipping a little bit because of the, um, uh, since the Superstar shakeup, and they're giving all the guys who are just been treated like crap over on Raw, and they're trying to wear off all the rust on them still, but Kevin Owens, my goodness, like, there was times where he was, like, you know, sitting there just, like, torturing, just bullying everyone, like, Renee Young, like, he'd be, he'd be done with, with what he has to say, and he'd be going off, and coming back on for something else, going off, coming back on two seconds later, and I was getting a crack out of it, it was hilarious, it was epic, you know, you, you got get to like the notice people more. You know, like Apollo Cruz, I remember had a good promos on um Talking Smack. Mojo Rawley, despite they're not really doing much with him on TV, Talking Smack, you know, decent stuff to listen to. Ah, oh, but now they're getting rid of it. And here's the thing. This is part of the reason he really ticked off. Talking Smack was a big shot. It was hot when it first started. But then what happened? They started 205 live. They put it after SmackDown, in between SmackDown and Talking Smack. Extended Talking Smack did not start until 11 o'clock and not 10 o'clock right after SmackDown Live. And I just, it makes me more mad because anymore, why do we even have 205 Live? 205 Live, to me, is just how SmackDown was before the brand split. It was the recap show of the Cruiserweights from Raw. That's what... 205 Live is. Why not get rid of 205 Live? The ratings for Talking Smack dipped once 205 Live started. Because why? Because we have that show that nobody cares about in between SmackDown and Talking Smack. No one's going to watch it. Why is anybody going to come back and watch 205 Live? I mean, I mean Talking Smack. I mean, I, I did that. Or I would catch Talking Smack the next day. But it's affecting viewership. To me, if you're worried about viewers on the WWE Network um, dipping or anything like, like, like that, look at the, 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 the real trigger here. It's not Talking Smack, it's 205 Live. To me, you should be canceling 205 Live instead of Talking Smack. I blame 205 Live for this being canceled. And you know what happens whenever you cancel one of my favorite shows on the WWE Network? You know what happens when you waste an hour of my life and then to end up having a show that actually is worth like 25 minutes of my life be gone?
205 Live? You just made the list! Gosh, this pen was starting to wear out of ink. I had a hard time writing 205. Maybe because it didn't want to write because, because it was su it's such an, uh, an ugly show and it's just making me so mad right now! You what happens when you don't want to write any ink on my paper? You know what happens when you don't do your job? The pen? You're gonna put yourself on the list! Anything else want to go on the list right now? I didn't think so. That is my rant. I had to get this off my chest. I cannot believe it. WWE is no longer having Talking Smack on the WWE Network as a weekly show. It's just going to be after brand pay-per-views. What's your thoughts on this subject? Do you think WWE should cancel Talking Smack? Do you think 20 Live should be canceled? Do you think WWE just... I don't even know. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video for more content to come as well. And that's it guys, I will catch you later.